Hey you guys, okay so I'm doing the iHeart drugstore makeup tag today. I was tagged and it's been requested several times and it's a really popular tag and I decided that I'm gonna do it. Okay, so let's get started. First question, what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand? Easy, Revlon. Their lipsticks and their lip glosses are the bomb.com. Yeah, they really are. So I brought two examples. I'm not gonna show you a lot of examples um, like of lip products because I'm gonna be doing a favorite drugstore lip products um, and a favorite drugstore, um, well no, a favorite drugstore lip glosses and favorite drugstore mascaras and favorite drugstore lip gloss videos coming up eventually. So I'll be showing you like all my favorites in that video. Um, well, this is an example of this lip gloss. This is Revlon's Color Burst 004 Pink Ice. So it looks like this. And it's just really pretty nude, um, light pink. Yeah, it's really, really pretty with, with like a little bit of a shimmer. And this is a great, great lip gloss. And then this is a, one of my favorite lipsticks from the, from the, from the drugstore. Zero Seventy Five Peach, and this will be in my favorites video coming up soon because I've been wearing it a lot this month. It's like a nude, but like a touch of coral. And I wore this in my Blue Smoky Night Out look video. Super, super amazing. My best friend loves it too. I introduced her to it and she loves it. What are your favorite face, cheek, lip products? Okay, face, cheek, lip, okay. Favorite face product would have to be the CoverGirl Aqua Smoothers A15 Medium to Dark Tinted Moisturizer. And you, I've talked about this a lot. I wore this in my No Mirror Makeup Challenge. I also wore this in my um, uh, $20 Makeup Challenge. And the coverage is actually a lot better than you would think. Um, it's like medium coverage. And then if you put some powder on top and use some concealer, it's like full coverage. So it's really, really good. I'm really impressed with this. Definitely go and get this if you haven't already. Let's see, face, cheek, and then lip. Okay. Well, my favorite lip products would be the Revlon stuff I showed you guys, the lipsticks and lip glosses. So that's covered, but my favorite cheek would have to be the um, Powder Mosaics 002 Honey Kissed Blush from Milani. And you guys have seen this in my $20 makeup challenge. I mean, how pretty is it? All the different shades of plum and pink. Very, very pretty, really pigmented, really nice blush. I'm not wearing it today, I was just like saying, a really nice blush. Um, yeah, so that's that. Cheek, lip, and I, I talked about lips, and um, yeah, face. Lee's favorite product, easy. I would have to say these e.l.f. Hyper Shine Glosses. Okay, this is one of them, and this is in the shade, let's see, what shade is this? Oh, okay, Bubblegum. These sound so cute, but literally they last like 30 seconds before you have to reapply it. Yeah. Not cute at all. And then also, this looks really nice and like doesn't look sheer, but it applies so sheer, which is okay, but I don't know. I mean, and this is in the fairy. This is really pretty. It has like glitter in it and everything, but yeah, a little bit disappointed in these. The Elf Hyper Shine, and this is in Blossom. I actually haven't used the Blossom one, so I'm not gonna show you the Blossom one. But the other two are just very um, sheer. You have to reapply like right after you apply. It's already, like, it's, I don't know, like evaporates. I don't know. Not very good. I'll be talking about those in my products I regret buying video, which I'll be filming very soon. So yeah. Okay, next question. What is your best makeup bargain? Let's see, probably my um, actually I have a couple. My e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I've talked about this in almost every video. Super, super good in medium. And I use the dark one, just with any shadow brush or angled brush and do my eyebrows, just fill them in. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, this was like, what, a dollar or a few dollars? And I use it all the time, and it's a great um, eyebrow shader. Yeah. So I would say that is my favorite bar. Wait, which one is it? <laughs> my favorite makeup bargain, yeah. What is your favorite underdog product? Probably well, that would be one of them, you know, because people don't really talk about that, but it's really, really good. And let's see. Ooh. Actually, I have a several, you guys. Okay. And a lot of these things are like multiples for every question, like for different questions. One is my e.l.f. Oh, no, no, this one. <laughs> one is my e.l.f. Complexion Perfection. So this is the outside. I like the packaging. It's really cute. Um, and this is how it looks like. This is really good, like, if you're having some shininess, just take your powder brush and apply on your T-zone. And it works really, really well. But no one talks about it, like, hardly ever. So I would say that one. You guys, I'm forgetting the questions as soon as I, like, answer them. Oh, underdog product. Okay, so that's one. And two is this Alta uh, Lipstick in Vegas Baby. Gorgeous. It's like a deep red. Here it's coming off more corally peach, but it's a deep red, like ripe tomato red in real life. And I'm gonna be doing a perfect lip tutorial coming up soon with this lipstick and showing you guys how to make your red lips last all day. A drugstore product that is overpriced. Hmm, I would probably say, you know, those e.l.f. ones I talked about, those e.l.f. lip glosses, I mean, I know they're only a few dollars, but I think they're worth, they should be given out for free, they're not that good. And then this, and then I'll be talking about this, this, this product also in my products I regret buying, sort of, but I don't really quite regret it, but anyway, whatever. Um, the Maybelline Tattoo Eye Studio uh, 20 Painted Purple, the, yeah, yeah, let me show you. So this is the front, and then this is the kind, yeah, 20 Painted Purple. And I've used this, be and it's good, but it isn't worth the hype. Like, it's just another shadow. I don't understand why everyone's like, <gasps> Maybe like the other ones are better. I, I've heard the other shades are better. Like the gunmetal one is better, but which I think I might try that too. I like it, but I don't like how I can't smear it on my lid. Like I can't just take the brush and be like, no, it'll, it's horrible color payoff. And it's it looks really sloppy. You have to take it kind of like a mineral eyeshadow or like a, or like an eyeshadow that you have to dampen to like use, like make wet and it looks really good. I have to kind of dab it on my eye and build the color up, which is okay, but this really wasn't worth the hype. But I'll be talking about this in my products I regret buying video. I guess I already did, but I'll talk about it again in that video. But this is also something that I don't think is worth the price. Because this is this was like not like a dollar. This is, more, I don't know, maybe six. But I don't know how much this was. But it was over a few dollars. So this really, just, this is not that, not worth the hype. Definitely not worth the hype at all. Okay. Um, let's see. Show us your best drugstore dupes. Okay, now you guys might disagree, but you know the Elf's Albatross um, highlighting powder? I I'm not saying this is exactly the same, but it's similar. Um, if you go to, if you use Elf's Golden Bronzer, the highlighting portion right here, if you just put that, like your finger or like an eyeshadow brush or like a highlight highlighting brush as your highlight, it works really well. Similar similar to the Albatross highlighting powder. Not exactly, but similar. So it's almost like a dupe. Okay, drugstore products that isn't worth the hype. I'll just say like um, the color tattoo, the purple, 20 purple something. Similar, so I just had it here, okay. The 20 painted purple, it just, it isn't worth the hype. It should, it's overpriced, because it should've been, and then yeah. Okay, so like all these can go for like many categories. Um, okay, and that's really it. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely definitely give it a thumbs up for me if it helped you. Um, yeah, if it helped, I'm just checking to see if I answered all the questions. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, this video, this video a thumbs up. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. 
subscribe for more beauty videos and uh, let me know in the comments below some of the products that some of your favorite drugstore products yeah i'd love to know because i'm gonna be doing a big drugstore makeup haul soon so yeah i want to see some of your favorite products and hear about them and so like that, if you've done this video, leave it as a video response, and I will see you guys very soon. Mwah! Bye!